this futures hedging example uses currency futures and you can pause this video a little bit and read the story right here to see um, what's up but here's a quick summary of what that's all about so let's say that today June 1st all right you have 10 million pounds in a British bank and you're an American and let's say right now the uh, exchange rate between the US dollar and the pound sterling is a dollar 25 cents per sterling so what this means is that right now your money in the British bank is worth 12.5 million dollars now though you plan to transfer this money um, sometime later um, subsequently in September right so today is June and the fear here is that the pound sterling may go down in value which means that you're gonna get less in dollars after conversion so to hedge this currency risk you're gonna sell pound futures in a short hedge and let's say that right now the futures price for the maturity that you seek which in this illustration is the September futures is a dollar 23 cents so now remember the contract size for the British pounds uh, for the British pound sterling contract is 62,500 so that means that the contract price is going to be the product of these two numbers which comes out to be 76,875 how many contracts should you sell 163 which is the spot price all right the spot value of your assets which is um, uh, 12.5 million dollars divided by um, the uh, contract size all right the divided by the price the futures contract price right there all right so now let's see how things are going to shake out at hedge lifting period in September so let's say that um, the spot exchange rate has indeed gone down by 2.4 percent from 1.25 1.22 which means that the 10 million pounds that you're trying to uh, bring back to the United States is now worth 12.2 million down from 12.5 million so it's a loss of three hundred thousand dollars and that accounts for your sad face right there now but how about the futures markets let's see what's up you're gonna have to offset by buying back futures remember you sold futures so you're gonna you sold futures for 1.23 so you're gonna buy it back for 1.20 it fell by about 2.4 percent as well <clears throat> so on a per contract basis that comes out to 75,035 so as you can see you have a gain of 1840 which is the difference between I go back here the price at which you sold future 76,875 and the lower price at which you're buying back future 75,035 so this is your gain per contract and that's your profit function right there multiplied by the number of contracts in play which is 163 gives you a total gain or loss or your hedge pro uh, gives you a total gain or loss rather of three hundred thousand dollars and that's why you get a little smile on your face and as you can see here if you merge the two the sad face and the smiley face this works out to be a perfect hedge as you can see so this futures contract has worked its magic now bear in mind though that things can also go the other way rather than the currency value going down it could also go up and if that happens you're gonna make money in the spot markets but lose in the futures market for example this is a let's uh, look at this spreadsheet right here right so this is the uh, example you just looked at so let's say that prices actually went up exchange rate went up from 125 to uh, let's say 1.28 all right and also uh, futures price is also going to go up let's say from 123 to let's make it 126 all right oops all right right there all right so 126 all right and as you can see you make money in the uh, spot market on the transfer you lose in the futures market so 
this is where your crying face is and this is where your smiley face is and actually uh, the hedge profit is a negative but it's a much softer outcome than would have been the case if uh, you had just traded futures without any backing from the spot markets as you can see and that's it